Hi guys and welcome to Tech Base. In this video, we're going to talk about the final Windows 11 23H2 update, which is the build 22631.5545. And as I've said, this is the last Windows 11 23H2 update. Users who will still use 23H2 will most likely be automatically updated to 24H2, or you can even do that today because you are most likely getting a message inside Windows update. If you click on check for updates while you have this option enabled, you should most likely get the Windows 11 24H2 to update but of course in this video we're going to talk about what you can find in the latest windows 11 23 h2 update and of course we're going to quickly mention what microsoft has in plan for the next windows 11 versions so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video of course it being the final or last update for 23 h2 it is a pretty small update it only has two improvements and a few fixes so we're going to cover over all of those. First of all, inside settings, apps, and then default apps, Microsoft is rolling out some small changes in the European economic area for default browsers. For example, additional file and link types will be set to the new default browser if it registers them. The new default browser will be pinned to the taskbar and start menu unless you choose not to pin it by clearing the checkboxes. And there's also now a separate one-click button for browsers to change your .pdf default if the browser registers for the .pdf file type. There's also a change related to Windows Share, when you share a link or a web content using the Windows Share window, you'll now see a visual preview for that content. And we also have a few fixes. For example, Microsoft fixed an issue with auditing privilege use created too many security event logs. These logs filled up the system drive and prevented users from signing in. Also, this update fixes an issue where domain joined machines running Windows 11 22H2 or 23H2 couldn't update their account passwords on Windows Server 2025 domain controllers, which led to trust related relationship issues. This update also brings profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. They also fixed an issue that prevented the remote desktop protocol connections work until you restarted your device. This update also fixes an issue where workstations and servers might stop responding when connecting to resources located on server message block shares. This update addresses an issue that prevented the complete removal of unused language packs and feature on demand packages, which previously led to unnecessary storage use and longer Windows update installation times. This update also also resolves an issue where kiosk devices might stop responding after being locked and unlocked by an administrator. This update also fixes an issue that prevented the automatic renewal of expiring certificates in Windows Hello for Business. And also they fix an issue where Windows Search was responding very slow. The search box would have taken up to 10 seconds to load before you would have been able to use it. So this is basically it, the last Windows 11 23H2 update. So basically after this update, Windows 11 23H2 won't receive any new features or any new things. Most likely, Windows 11 23H2 will get maybe a few patches here and there until all users will be automatically moved on to 24H2. So we should maybe expect more news related to Windows 11 25H2 from Microsoft. But as I've said, it is a nearly 100% chance that this will just be an enablement package. So that means that all the new features will slowly roll out over the next couple of months. And then when Windows 11 25H2 will be released, it will only be a version change, a small update, which will also allow users who come from Windows 10 for example, to have a smoother upgrade experience. So this was the video for today. Of course, for more information, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man at home, TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.